Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Um, I'm going to go real quick and show you the stuff that I got this week because I know you guys are getting tired of my long videos. But um, this week I did a lot of shopping for swaps, but I did fit in some good stuff for me too. Um, and I got a couple of good swaps. Um, this one is from my friend Vicki that lives in Canada. And right offhand, I cannot remember her YouTube name, so I'll put it up here. But she is a makeup artist, and so she sends me some of the best stuff. And she knows, you know, what I would like. So, and she has sent me some really good things. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you are some Joe Fresh brushes. And I've already used them. They're real pretty. They remind me of Clinique with the clear handles. And these are just awesome brushes. It's an eyeshadow brush, um, a smudger brush, which I think is that one, and then the crease brush, which is that one. So if you, live, if you have access to these, they're wonderful. I've been using them. I couldn't wait. But I saved these so I could remember the names. Um, then she, she sent me the prettiest eyeshadows. She sent me this, which is, look at that case. This is just something I'd like to display. Um, and this is Quo, which I'm really loving that brand. I've never really, I think last week, um, Terry is the first person that sent me something from Quo. But this is a limited edition um, eyeshadow quad, and it's um, from the Renaissance collection, and I think it's called Michelangelo, and it's gorgeous. I've already used it. I used this the first day that I got this stuff, but it is, oh, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shadows. And I sent her a picture of me wearing that. Then she sent me some Marcel. This is so pretty, too. This is um, Azure, Azure Blue. That's hard for me. Isn't that pretty? It's got that little lace. That is so pretty. This is like the prettiest makeup. And then this, I used this today. This is like the um, Duo Face Powder in Mademoiselle Blush and Bronze. And I've just been using it as a highlight because kind of shimmery and it's so pretty. And I hope you can see that. Love that. And then this is so pretty too. Look at that case. It reminds me of the Lee Swatier um, highlighting powder that Sandy got me. And this is an eyeshadow and it is so pretty. I used this right on its own last weekend just for a more subtle look. And I'm not sure who that's by. I can't remember if I took a, a package off of that or not. But I'm thinking... I'm thinking Marcel, but I don't know for sure. Then she sent me this J Fresh pencil, and this is in um, Forest Green. And then my friend um, Curly Nikki, Nicole, had sent me one, either Nikki or Lynn, um, who is Blushing Bay One. Um, both of them had, one of them had sent me an aquamarine pencil that I put with this, with that blue palette, and it was so pretty. And then she sent me this Joe Fresh liner, which is just like the, um, it's even pointier than the Jordana Fabu liners. It's just like the penultimate. I mean, just like it. And I've used that and love it. it gets, it's so pointy, it gets right down by the lash line. And she sent me this lipstick by Joe Fresh, and it's coral. It's a cream, and it's beautiful. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. For those of you that might want a coral that's not too in your face and out there, that's a good one. Then, these all are so pretty. The first one is by Lux Gloss, and it's Ginger. And I'll swatch it for you. And it's a pretty um, gingery color. And then, um, this one, we opened, I, I picked this up and then opened it in the car, and Brooke had to put this on immediately. This is a Joe Fresh, and it's um, Candy. And it's so pretty. Look at that. I love this packaging. And this reminds me a lot. I've got a gloss. Um, oh, that's so pretty. It's so vibrant. I love these. These are kind of like the lip lacquers. They remind me of um, when Elaine showed those Lorac. And then this is the one I have on today. And I love this. I love this, Vicki. Um, I would like to have some more of these. Um, maybe in pinks or something because it is so pretty. And this color is called Mango. And I have it on my lips today. No lipstick. Just all by itself. Um, and it is the prettiest. It's one of those that's so thick, it can, it's like a lipstick. And I love it. And I have it on with, um, I did line my lips with the NYX Citrine um, liner. So um, that's a real good thing to do if you want to wear a gloss. But um, like me, my lips are, it's not that they're really pigmented, but they're like kind of uneven pigmented. 
they're darker on the outsides and so a lot of times I need something to kind of even out my skin tone and then put a gloss over and if you do go over it with a good pencil and then put your gloss on it works great um, so thank you so much Vicki that was wonderful and I am putting together some stuff for you I think I sent out um, I've got four in the car so I sent out four the other day so I'm sending out eight packages this week <laughs> but I've still got several to go and Vicki I'm, I'm working on yours because I want to get some good stuff um, I got this this week, and I have had this before. It is the um, Princess's Rule Polish, and I've got it on today. I think I have it on over something, though. Um, and I had this before, and I asked Brooke where it was, and she says, oh, I used it all. So <laughs> she didn't know where it was, and so I just went ahead and got another one because my other one was a couple years old. But that's a real good little sweet polish to use. And then I got this in this week, and... Um, I'm sure you've probably seen Elaine or um, Linda Coco LaRue talk about these, and it's the Scott Barnes brushes, and this is the crease brush, and this is a nice crease brush, and I, I love crease brushes, and a lot of times I, I don't use a lot of flat shader brushes. I use a lot of crease brushes just for my all-over, you know, application, and this is a nice one, and what differs with this one than like the 226 or even my Chanel is it's, um, it's pointed and it's got some good um, body to it. I mean, it's um, it's you know it blends, but it doesn't just go all over the place. It's a little bit um, stiffer than you know like the 224 or something. So this is a really good brush, and I got it from um, that strawberry strawberry net or something like that. It's a place that I'm sure all of you have seen it, and um, it did take about. I ordered it off of eBay, and it took about. A good two weeks to get here but I think it came from Hong Kong so anyway I love this I'm glad I got it then I know you guys are tired of hearing about American Eagle but I went back this week and got another pair of those jeans that I love the skinny boot I think is what they're called I'm not sure but I think that's it um and I got another pair and I wish I would have told you this last week but they do say stretch so I hope you knew but if you are if you try on those jeans and you are in between sizes, error on the tight ones because they do stretch. So I ended up having to go back and I got a size smaller because my other ones were just like um, as I went throughout the day driving and stuff, they were getting so big. So I went and got another pair and I picked up this little tank top. And um, it's just a little, you know, one of those tanks that everybody's wearing now, but I love the um, little embellishment up there. And I'll probably just wear this with a white tank underneath it with jeans. And it'll look good with flip-flops or sandals or whatever. And it was um, it was on sale, I think. I know I didn't pay too much for it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was $14.95 from $24. I wouldn't have paid $24.50, but $14.95 is worth it. <laughs> then, um, I told you guys I've been on a handbag mission. And I went from finding none that I liked to finding several that I liked. And one that I ordered, I got um, this week, and I've already sent it back. And it was a Rebecca Minkoff. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen her handbags, but they're beautiful. They're beautiful. And she has a YouTube channel. If you'll just look up Rebecca Minkoff, it's R-E, I'll put it right here. Um, her bags are, they're made really nice. Um... They're, they've got some edge to them, but they're still nice. Anyway, I love them. Well, the one I had found that I liked was on eBags. And hopefully, maybe I can put the link to the um, bag I got right here. But anyway, I got it, and I liked it, but it did not have, and this is my fault, I thought it had a shoulder strap. Most of her other bags will come with a shoulder strap. And I saw on the bag it had the two hooks that the shoulder strap, you know, connects to. So even though it didn't say it had a shoulder strap, I thought it probably did, and it didn't. So when I got it, you know, it wasn't cheap, and I, and I liked it, but I didn't like it enough. So I sent it back, and it was so cute. My little boy was here when I was packing it back, and he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm going to send this back. I said, um, he said, why? And I said, because I really just don't like it that much. And he said, I know. You can get a pack pack. <laughs> He calls a backpack a pack pack. So I thought that was so cute. He wanted me to get a pack pack. But anyway, so I sent that one back and it was I hated to do it, but I hated to spend that much money on something that I didn't really love because the other two I got I really love. Um this is a coincidence because when I watched um 
Oh, Linda, Coco LaRue, I keep wanting to call her Coco. When I watched Linda's channel and she did her purse collection, I had just bought this that day and it made me laugh because we're on the same oh. wavelength. She had shown a clutch and just that day I had bought this. And this is by, um, I think it's Max New York. Yeah, Max New York, which is a pretty good brand. And this is leather, it's just patent leather. And it's just a clutch. Can you see? I think I've got the receipt in there and a pen left over. I actually um, used this until I got my other one. Um, but I love clutches, and I just thought this would look so good with, like, um, all of my coral. And it just looks good with jeans. But don't be afraid to get a clutch because just because it doesn't have a handle on it, um, it's really easy to carry. I've had no problem carrying this. I've... Um, I even went in the grocery store, I think yesterday, and, you know, just pushed my cart the whole time with it, you know, under my arm. It's a lot different than, like, the other handbag I got that didn't have a strap because it was big and really thick and bulky. It was no, it, the straps weren't big enough to put it on my shoulder, and anyway, you know what I'm saying. So I got this, and it was regularly, um, it was over $100, and I got it on sale for $30. And they actually had another one that was like a purple that went down to like a fuchsia and a pink that I really wanted to go back and get, but I just couldn't see any reason to have two of them. And I was attracted to this one first. So if you live near a Belk's department store, um, you might can go get one of these. Um, because I can see I'm pretty excited about it. Then um, my next one, you know, everything with me has a story. Um, when I first started looking, um, I was you know, had decided I was going to get a nice handbag. I wanted something that I really liked, and I wanted to get something that, you know, that I was just crazy about. So I um, asked Linda, Coco LaRue, and I asked Elaine what they were carrying and what, you know, some good ideas because they have such good taste, and they know about different brands. And um, so Linda was kind of my inspiration for the Rebecca Minkoff because she has, you know, these all these leather you know, designer handbags. And then when I asked um, Elaine, she said, well, you know me, I like flashy, you know, and I do too. I love, and I love having a handbag that is more of a statement because a lot of times in the summer, I'm just wearing a plain solid dress or something. So, I'm gonna hold you on anymore. This is what I got, and it is the Spotlight um, Coach bag, and it's the pink one. And I think Elaine had the silver one, and I think Tiffany, Makeup by Tiffany D has one too. Um, and Elaine said she had gotten the pink one too. She was just saving it for summer. So I immediately went and looked and it's got the nice um, good strap and then it's got these straps. Look at all these pockets. That's my phone. Um, this pocket and it's got this cool little, you know, the coach thing. And it's very soft. It's actually canvas with the sequins all over it. And then it has a really pretty inside. Um, it's like a goldy taupe color and it's real slick. Um, and it's just, I love it. And I love it for days like today um, when I'm just got on jeans or whatever because it still, you know, still looks good. Um, and plus it'll look good dressed up. So um, <laughs> I didn't want anything too flashy. <laughs> um, I'm just joking. Um, but I love it. And I was so... I tell you, that's what one of the reasons I sent the other one back is I was so excited about getting this one that when I got the other one and I wasn't that excited about it, I thought, you know, I think the other one I got was regularly $595 and I had spent $300 because it was on sale. And that was a good deal, but that's still too much to spend on something that you're really not crazy about, which I'm really crazy about this one. So, I love it. <laughs> and it came with... um. I ordered it right from the coach site, and it was actually, the pink one was on back order, um, but I got it this week. Um, it came with a nice bag, and um, it came with, you know, the certification and all that stuff. So, um, and it's funny, my husband said, you know, he looked at it, and I said, well, you know, I don't want to keep it if you don't like it, because, you know, he, he buys my stuff, and... I'm with him, and I mean, that's just important to me. I know a lot of women don't really care about stuff like that, but I do. And he said, no, no, if you like it, I like it. And I could tell he did say he liked it better than the other one that I had gotten. Um, but he said, I was just expecting it to be leather or something. <laughs> so anyway, so that is all my stuff for this week, I believe. Um, 
I am going shopping today with my friend Kim. We have not shopped together in a long time. Um, I'll have a good haul for you, and I might go ahead and do another video for that instead of saving it for next Friday so it won't be too long. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and it's just so springy here, and it just is wonderful, and I hope it is where you live too. And um, thanks to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. It's just now gotten to the point where it's kind of getting hard for me to keep up with my um, comments and everything, so I'm um, not going to be able to thank each and every subscriber, and that really breaks my heart, but um, it would be easy if I could just do it, but then they make me do that little word each time, and that, you know, anyway, so thank you so much for subscribing Bye. to me, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.